Hey everyone, happy Friday, or Friday, right? Yippee, the weekend is here, just about. Uh, today is uh, September 17th of 2021, so thank you so much, you guys, for joining in today. I really appreciate you, and I appreciate you if you're taking the time to watch this replay, whether you found me on Facebook uh, in the replays or you found me on YouTube. I appreciate it, thank you. So. Uh, go ahead and follow me on Facebook, subscribe on YouTube, ring that little bell. I really appreciate it. And that just helps uh, you find out when I post other videos. So I hope you guys are having a great day. Today, I'm excited because I love to create for Halloween. It's so much fun to create just cute little uh, gifts and things like that. and um, But also Halloween cards. It's just a fun, fun time, I, I think. So I've got some cute little Halloween treats to share with you today. A couple cards and a cute treat box as well. So so thank you again for watching. I appreciate it. Um, let me just get started with a couple things. You might already know that I'm having my uh, online BOGO sale beginning on Monday. And if you haven't already, you want to join my uh, online group here on Facebook, it's called Chick Stamper Bogo. So you can put that into the Facebook search, uh, little search bar up there, and you'll find the group and join the group. I It's not ready yet. I'll be working on it through the weekend, but by Sunday night, I'll have it ready to go. So what I'm doing is I'm cleaning out from last year's Bogo, so removing photos of items that have sold, but also adding in new items of item of product that has retired in the past year. So you wanna check that out. Again, on Facebook, uh, type in Chick Stamper Bogo and you'll find the group and you can join that. It's a private group, but you should be able to search for it and find it. Um, lots of fun things. So hundreds and hundreds of stamp sets, lots of bundles available at bundle pricing, but I wanted to show you, so, so see the difference. See how this one has a green label? And that's because it's an older stamp set. And then the current labels are black. So all of the green labels, there are some still in there. They are all at half off. So for instance, this Up, Up and Away stamp set is $19 labeled because that was its original price. It really means it's $9.50. So whatever price those green labels are, it's really half of that. So what you do is you shop my online store, or our online BOGO uh, group, I should say, and then you see what you want to purchase, watch the video, there's a welcome video and it tells you exactly what to do, how to uh, save each item that you want for you as of Monday. Uh, right now I have the commenting turned off, so I'll be able to turn that on Monday morning for you when the sale officially begins. Then you add up everything that you'd like and send me an email with the names of what you'd like and if they're available still, then I will let you know and let you know your total that then you'll shop on my online store. So it's the end of September, you guys, you may already know this. So it's the end of our Stampin' Up! year, September 30th. It's also the time crunch for earning the incentive trip. So I'm close. So I'm kind of hoping that this BOGO helps me tip the scales in my favor to earn that trip again this year. This would be my third that I've earned. And again, I'm close and we'll see what happens. But if you think that you'd like anything and you're looking looking for some retired product, now is the time to do it, please. That would be so helpful for me as well. And more importantly, uh, my retired product will go to Wonderful Loving Homes that's gonna get used. I purchase product to use while it's current and then when it retires, I pack it away for my BOGOs because I run my business just on current product. So I love, I hate that it sits in my garage and I love when it can go to you guys to keep you happy and stamping. I also will have some grab bags. I've got these cute little organza bags. These are going to be each filled with $125 of product. So it will have bundles, stamp sets, ribbon, embellishments, and you'll be able to purchase a grab bag for $50, but know that it will have $125 of product in it. So got to move that product through and, and keep everybody happy, right? I want you to be able to get, hopefully you'll find some product that you um, have been looking for. And if you are looking for something specific you don't see on there, I have lots of ribbons and embellishments and you can always just email me to see if I have what you're looking for. So. All right. Oh, and a free gift for the first 20 who make BOGO purchases. I've got some of these retired glittery enamel dots. 
And so these will slide in as well. Don't forget, it's still celebration, you guys. So with your BOGO purchases, when you go to shop my online store, you will also receive free celebration products for each $50 that you're purchasing. So it's huge. It's a great time to have a BOGO because there's so much free product for you guys. Plus, I'm just trying to sweeten the deal a little bit because, again, I want my product to be sold to go to homes that will use it and not be packed away in a box. Um, plus, I'm in a time crunch to, to see um, uh, what, how many more sales I can get by the end of the month. So, so thanks, you guys. I, I appreciate it. Um, all right. Turn your holiday mini catalogs to page 50, and that begins the cute Halloween suite. So on 51 has the products that we're using today. And we're gonna be using these products on our first two cards that I'm gonna show you and we'll make those today as well. But I have a few other products that I'm using, but mostly though it's that, everything from that suite, okay? So let me turn uh, my phone down and we'll take a peek and we'll get started and we'll stamp. I hope you guys are having a great day. Hang on just a sec and that you have plans for a great weekend. Maybe some stamping. That would be pretty cool, wouldn't it? Oh, that see if I can straighten that up a little bit. And, okay. So we're starting today with the cutest Halloween. This is a bundle. It's a stamp set, as you can see. And it has this adorable punch. We're gonna be using the punch today. The punch is a ghost, a pumpkin, and a kitty cat. And it's the same symbols or images that are on the stamp set. So it's really a fun, it's a photopolymer stamp set, which helps us guide and line up where we put the faces and things like that. So we're gonna use that today. Um, I also used some of the dies from the Frightful Tag. So I used this really cute spider web because I wanted to use it with the black glitter paper that we have right now. And then I used this little circle as well. The tree we used on our pillow gift, which will be the thank you gift I'll be sending you all for your orders this weekend. And then I also used the picture, this die. Have you guys used these dies yet? Kind of cool. I've been wanting to try them out and use them. I've only used them a few times. So this was the week to get it out and take a peek. So I'll show you what I did with that. And then last but not least, one of our staples, our layering circle dies. So I needed a larger circle than what I had. So. So we're using that as well. All righty. Here's our first card. What do you think? See how it uses the picture of this die? Isn't that cute? All right, so now I can see on my laptop. Let me just adjust this, you guys, I'm sorry. Just so that you see the bottom. For those of you wanting to order, you've got that host code there and my store. All right, so this uses everything from the uh, Cute Halloween Suite. And what I love, you know I love when this happens, the punch actually works on the coordinating designer paper. So that's what we're gonna do today. So for any of you who maybe don't have this suite yet, I believe the punch is on back order for a few more weeks, but when I send you your kit for your purchase this weekend, I will have already punched out these items for you. So you'll still be able to make your card even if you don't have the punch yet. All right, so let's take a peek and we'll get busy. This uses a basic black card base. Just a reminder that all of today's measurements will be on my blog this afternoon, later this afternoon. You'll be able to download a PDF that has everything. I don't want to trust that I'm saying everything correctly. I might miss up a uh, measurement for you. So know that you can go to my blog at chickstamper.com and print off today's tutorial, but it won't be up there till later today once I get the video uploaded and everything. All right, so to make our front, we've got this piece that we cut out with the picture of this die. So you can see that, isn't that fun with those circles? And then to put behind it, I'm using some of the cute Halloween paper. And this is six by six paper, but I'm putting a piece of vellum on it. I wanted it to, oh, just kind of make it a little less bold right in our face there a little bit, okay? 
All right, so this is easy. I'm just gonna attach these just like this. So let's get some adhesive here, and I'm gonna put a little bit of adhesive onto my basic black. I started, I do know this measurement offhand. This is a three and three quarter by five inch piece of basic black. And then I took that picture of this die with the circles and was able to uh, cut out these circles, which is kind of cool, I think. Okay. So I'm just, I cut the vellum just a little smaller than the black so that I knew that once I put it on, it would be just fine. And then we'll do that again, get a little adhesive on there and we'll put our designer paper on. So do you guys do a lot for, for Halloween? Do you dress up? We don't really dress up anymore now that of course our kids are grown. Um, but it's still kind of fun. I, I do, I even miss it. I just think it's just such a, such a neat time. So you can see that I've got this cut so that it goes inside of the vellum. And now I've put it behind, and but you can still see the houses. I hope you can kind of still see that. I just feel like the vellum gave it a little spookier look, maybe like, um, uh, like a fog machine, dry ice or something. Okay, so I'm gonna attach this to a piece of Highland Heather. A little bit more adhesive on the back. So this one has several layers, but it's stinking fun and pretty darn cute, I think. So I just wanted a little edge of that Highland Heather to pop out. Well, let's take a peek at the little crooked. See if I can straighten it out a little bit. There we go. All right, pretty cute. So before we put that onto our base, let's get some of the gingham ribbon. This is from the suite. And this ribbon is a uh, quarter inch. Let me just, yes, quarter inch gingham ribbon with black and white. But as you'll see, see on our pillow gift, it really is super easy to bring your blends out and color it. So you can really make it any color you want. So I'm just gonna cut a piece because I want it to lay down here on the left-hand side and I'll wrap it around and adhere it on the back. And I've got directional paper in there, so I'm trying to pay attention to make sure I remember what side is up and what side is down. <laughs> there we go. Put a little adhesive on the ribbon, and we're ready to put it onto our card base. All right, so remember that cute die with the circles that made these circles here in the black? I also cut, used it on a scrap of basic white. So let me get these pieces here. So by doing that, it gave me little white circles that then I could stamp on and put back into these circles into these holes, spaces, I should say. All right, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna stamp our little spider, but we're gonna use Highland Heather ink. The spider is really cute. And I want one of them, let me just do it this way. I kinda want him coming off the top a little bit. So we're gonna do that. And then another one more in the center. And then this last little baby circle, we're gonna stamp some candy corn on. And we'll just color it. There we go. 
All right, so I've got some pumpkin pie and Daffodil Delight uh, Stampin' Blends. And I'll kind of do this one the opposite of my original one. Candy corn doesn't really have a black section, but that's okay. Once we color it, especially once we add the orange, we all know what it is. There we go. So I'm just using the dark versions of Pumpkin Pie and Daffodil Delight blends. And then I've got my Stampin' Right marker in Highland Heather because I want to make uh, little spider webs. So I'm just simply drawing lines to the edge from where the spider is, just to make it look like he's hanging down there. A little more realistic. All right, so I can just add a glue dot to the back of these and add them right into these circles. And this one I'm kind of, I have him up because of our sentiment is going to go below him. And then this one will just kind of make him a little bit at an angle. There's no wrong or right, you guys. You can do it however you'd like. It's coming along. Isn't it cute? All right, so let me show you our punch. Take a peek. Okay, so here's this cute punch. So I can punch out these designer papers and use them on my project. So that's what we're gonna do today. So you can kind of see that I'm just lining it up. It doesn't match every ghost on here, but several of them it does. So I can get several out of one piece of paper. So there's a ghost. And then our pumpkin, let's see, this one's gonna work. Let's find one that's gonna work a little easier. Oh, I think he will. Let's see, we might have to cut a little bit. So remember when you're cutting a whole page, you can actually cut around these and use a post-it note to help you get into the space. I'm just trying to center it on our pumpkin, there you go. That's pretty cute. And then we've got these little kitty cats here as well. This punch is pretty fun. Again, I'm just trying to center There we go. So I can cut out these whole pages um, and use these, and I will be doing that um, for the uh, class kits that I send out. Remember, with every order over $35, I'll send those class kits to you. Um, and you'll get everything you need to make the cards, except the ink and stamps, of course, and your adhesives. But you'll also get our cute thank you gift, pillow gift that I have for this week. So I can't wait to show you. All right, this is a perfect day to use our black dimensionals. Have I told you that my friend Hetty, she feels the black dimensionals are actually stickier and stronger. I'm not sure, but um, I do believe that they, they are stickier because now that she told me, I've tried to pay attention and they seem to really hold up better. All right, so no wrong or right, you guys, I'm just Let's see, what do we want? Maybe like this. That's kind of cute. Look at him right there in the middle of that circle. And now we're gonna do the pumpkin and we'll do the same thing for the pumpkin. We'll get a couple dimensionals. Let me grab some of my black mini dimensionals and we'll put one right there too. So make sure you've got some of the black dimensionals for, for your Halloween crafting because they're so nice. And then they won't show from the sides. So I just put him just in the center. You can put these guys wherever you'd like. And now we've got our kitty cat. 
Let's get a couple dimensionals on him. And a couple little baby ones on those ears. Awesome. All right. And I'm just putting him up kind of in the center as well. So our card is coming together. Our sentiment today says, hey boo. So it could be a term of endearment <laughs> or it could just be a Halloween, hey boo. Boo to you. So we're gonna use that. I've got a little piece of pumpkin pie scrap paper and my tuxedo black ink. And I'm gonna come over a little bit. I wanna leave some room for uh, some of the cute little sequin stars. Okay. So let's just angle that. And then I'm gonna put some adhesive towards the bottom on this one because of where I'm gonna place it on the card. There we go, let's just get it straight. Whoopsie. There we go. Okay, so now we've got our sentiment on there. We've got lots of cute, fun things. We're just gonna add a little bit of ribbon just in a little, a little knot up here. just to add a little something up top. And this ribbon is so stinking cute. All right, so it's coming together. Let's put some of our sequins. So these are officially called the Cute Star Adhesive Back Sequins. And you can see that they come in a orange color, a lavender color, and uh, black but they're very sparkly. Looks like they already have Wink of Stella on them or something. So I just put a few up by the candy corn and we'll just put one of each color. No wrong or right, whatever you'd like. They're kind of sparkly shiny, so I like them. Maybe one over here by the spider. And then we'll put one down here by the, or on the sentiment. Aren't they fun? They add a little bit of bling there. Okay, let's work on our inside piece. So I'm going to actually layer the inside because I want it to kind of have a pop of color. And you know, my friend Lisa, my bestie, she does this a lot with her cards and I love it. So I'm, I'm stealing the idea and I'm gonna start to do it more and more, I'm sure. Okay, so what I thought would be fun, first of all, let's do our saying. And our saying says, have a fabulous Halloween. And even though it's a month away, it's time to start making making our projects for it, isn't it? So I'm just gonna put this right about here up top, have a fabulous Halloween. And then let's get some of those cute spiders out again. And we'll just put a couple up here and dress it up a little bit, but I can't have them just hanging from the air, so I gotta get my marker out again. It doesn't have to be perfect, but just little lines to the edge, I think just make it a little more realistic, however realistic purple spiders could be, right? 
Fun, fun. All right, so then this piece we will attach to our Highland Heather piece. Again, be sure you get um, over to my blog at chickstamper.com later today and you can print off this uh, tutorial for free. And then you'll be able to have all the measurements right in front of you. And you can recreate these with the product that you have at home. There we go. All right, then on the envelope, I thought it would be cute to use the uh, ghost stamp. And I've got my Highland Heather ink out again. And let's see. We'll just put him there. And there's cute little eyeballs and arms. Kind of reminds me of a porpoise as well. But isn't it cute? <laughs> just a little something on the front of, front of that card. So when you send it, whoever receives it will know it's a cute going to be something cute and fun for Halloween inside there. All right. I hope you guys like that one. That one's a little bit more, took a little bit more work, right? But that was just because we have all the extra little pieces, but so easy. So, so easy to make. All right. So our second card, let me show you, is a Z fold. Isn't it cute? So it's got that cute, um, Spider web I told you about made out of the glitter paper. Let me hold that up. Hopefully you can see that. And then I also used the fun mesh ribbon that we have, metallic mesh. So I thought it's, again, another fun look for Halloween. This is a Z fold because it opens up, but this is the long way, right? So, so sometimes we do the opposite cut, but this way. I thought it was pretty cute. Fun, fun, fun. And then of course I decorated the envelope with that cute spider again. So that reminds me, let me get my cleaner here because I wanna make sure I get my spider clean before I go to use them. All right. Okay. Let's do it. So we're gonna start again. The basic black base, but this time, Yes, I scored at four and a quarter, right? Right in the middle there. But then I also have a score at two and an eighth. And that's to make that Z fold. So I've got it all scored. There we go. So now we're ready to make that fold just like that for our card. Okay, we've got some more of this cute designer paper. This, um, uh, designer paper. It's called Cute Halloween and it's six by six, but it's just really fun. All the sides, one full side of every sheet is different, is colored, and then the other side is black and white. So it's paper that you can use beyond Halloween however you see fit. So these colors would be cute. Birthday for a birthday party as well. So again, I've got kind of some skinny borders here, but in the end, this way they'll all be able to line up. So this piece is gonna go right here on the left front flap, but before I do, I wanna put some of that fun uh, mesh ribbon, metallic mesh. Isn't, isn't that cool? It's a very, very spider webby. So it's perfect for Halloween cards. And it's pretty easy to work with. Just gonna put some adhesive down here to grab onto it. There we go. And I'm only putting adhesive in the back, um, partly because anything you put in the front you'd see, but also I'm gonna be putting some um, gathering it later, so I want it to just just lay down nicely and it'll just kind of wrap. It's okay if it kind of pops up a little bit because we're gonna be able to play with that a little bit.
All right. So now this piece is just going to go down onto that front flap. So I'm going to make sure that my adhesive covers everything well. And we'll just add a little bit more here. There we go. Sticky, sticky. Okay. There we go. All right, so the inside piece, we're doing the same thing as we did on our last card. We're mounting our white inside piece onto a piece of cardstock. This time we're using pumpkin pie. So I want to start, I want to get out my spider stamp again. And this time we'll use our tuxedo black ink. And I'm just gonna put some spiders kind of coming down. There we go. All right, so this time I've got a basic black marker and I'm gonna do the same thing I did before. This one's just gonna kinda of go up a little bit because I know once I put that mesh ribbon over, it'll look like it's hanging from the ribbon, so that's okay. There we go. All right, so we'll attach this to the pumpkin pie. And then we'll put some of that mesh ribbon over. Let's see if we can do that again. Let's see. I didn't like the way that one was laying. Let's try it again. That's better, okay. So I'm just gonna put some adhesive on the back again, and this is just to hold the mesh ribbon for us. And we'll just cut a piece long enough to go over that. Oh, and look at that, I put that on, whoops, silly me. It would help to have the adhesive where the spiders are, huh? All right, let's change out my adhesive. I'm sorry, you guys. Got an extra one right there. Oh, that one's ready to go. Much happier. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm just kind of wrapping it around, attaching it on the back and letting it, it's okay if it even hangs off a little bit on the side, that's all right when I put it down. Either way, having the mesh over it makes it look like there's more of um, uh, spider webs on there. So kind of fun, right? So let's put this inside our card. And when we close it, that's the part that you'll see. So you'll see the mesh ribbon spider webby stuff over there and over here. So, so then what I wanted to do is, let's take a peek and find my pieces. Here we go. So I made the spider web out of the glitter papers. Isn't that pretty? See how it shines and sparkles? 
But in order for it to show, I thought it would look better on something. So I just used my layering circles and that's where I cut out this piece of pumpkin pie. So the middle of this is perfect for a mini black Stampin' Dimensional. You won't even see it. I'm just gonna put it right there in the middle. And then we'll put it right down onto our circle. Now our circle is what we're gonna actually adhere to the front of the card on this left flap. But I only want to attach just this one side of it, right? So that when it hangs off, there's no adhesive on the back side. So we'll just put some adhesive on one side. And it's okay if you go over the middle a little bit. And then just decide where you want it to be at. And that way, see how there's nothing on this side? And you could adhere it with dimensionals as well. I wanted it to be kind of flat. So that's kind of, kind of ready. We can take a piece of the mesh and just tie off a bit of this top piece. And I'm just gonna try to sneak this underneath the mesh here. There we go. Just to kind of gather it, just again, to add some dimension to the card. There we go. All right, I've got my white circle. This die actually came from the Frightful Dies set. There's a circle in there. So we're gonna stamp trick or treat. And then we'll add a spider as well because I don't know why today I can't get enough of these spiders this week. <laughs> They're so fun. So I'm using pumpkin pie ink. And I'm trying to go over to the right side a little bit to make room for our spider. And we'll do a black spider kind of coming in the side there. What do you guys think? He's kind of cute, huh? Get my black marker out. There we go. So this one, I'm gonna put um, a couple dimensionals just on this left side. Just to kind of keep them upright a little bit off of the spider web. So we'll just put it right there and there. And then the rest of that circle can kind of hang. And then we can just kind of put this wherever we want. There we go. I think it's pretty cute. I love this black glitter paper. If you haven't ordered any, be sure you do because you will love it. It's very thin. It's different than any of our glitter or glimmer paper we've had in the past. It's very thin. It works great in your dye machine and with your punches. Okay, let's stamp our envelope. So I'm gonna use our spider punch again. And we'll just line them up. Same kind of thing. These guys are gonna kind of be like they're and align together. There we go. All right, again, fun Z fold card. You can use this for so many different cards that you make, you guys. It's a great and easy, fun design. And now you'll have the measurements once you pull those off of my blog this afternoon. All right, let me show you my cute thank you gift for this weekend. So I used one of the tombstone treat boxes. Isn't it cute? And I did use um, some dyes from other sets and things, but I wanted to show you this. See how I colored that cute gingham ribbon with a pumpkin pie Stampin' Blend. So pretty easy. You can do it pink. Obviously, I'm, I need to make something with the pink one. I'll love that but um, I think it'll be fun. You can just have it match any, any project you're working on 
and you can just use your Stampin' Blends and it'll color it right up. Isn't that cute? So this thank you gift and today's card packets are going out to everybody who's ordered um, this week actually through the weekend. Isn't that cute? So you'll wanna use this host code and then that's how I know who to send these cute packets to, okay? So let me send you up. Let's take a peek. Hi guys. Uh-oh. Oh, goodness. Come on. There we go. All right. Let's get you looking in here. Otherwise, you're looking in my kitchen. <laughs> All righty. Thank you, guys. I appreciate you watching today. I hope you've enjoyed the Halloween projects for this week. And um, I know that I'm going to be back in two weeks on October 1st. Can you believe it? It'll be October. But I'm actually, I th I'm pretty sure I'm going to be doing some Christmas cards that day. Um, nothing is guaranteed. I may change my mind, but also the last Wednesday of this month, which is probably the 29th, I'm guessing, um, will be my paper pumpkin video. So join me that night at 6 PM right here, uh, 6 PM Arizona time, which will still be 9 PM Eastern. Um, and I'll have some alternative projects for this month's paper pumpkin kit now if you've seen this month's kit it's really cute on its own so you can make apples or pumpkins or jack-o-lanterns uh, with your kit so I'm not sure how I'm going to turn that into a scrapbook page but I'll come up with something also um, I'll be posting the video you might have already seen it but Stampin' Up! made a YouTube video of how to turn the box into a really cute wheelbarrow uh, to hold the projects, to hold little apples or pumpkins or jack-o'-lanterns. So, so we'll be doing that. I'll at least show you what I've done, but I've got to come up with some alternative projects for that as well. So I appreciate it. Don't forget to join my Chick Stamper BOGO Facebook group, you guys. If you're looking for anything that's retired, that's the place to do it. Not all the groups are finalized yet, so you want to come back on Monday. Um, you can start a list just to check and see, you know, start your shopping list. But there are a lot of items, a lot of stamp sets. I still have maybe about 100 items or so still to add. So I've been working all week. It's, it's taken a little bit longer than I realized, but lots of photographs and then getting them entered on there so that you can see exactly what it is. Um, be sure to watch the welcome video in there and it explains everything in the process and how it works, but you can always message me if you have any questions. So I don't want you to miss out on any retired product that you'd like. I'd love for it to go to a wonderful home. Okay. You guys let me know if you have any questions, if you need anything, if you need help with your order, you know, you can always send me your order and I'm happy to put it in for you. So let me know what questions you have and I hope you have a great few weeks. I will be back live the end of September for Paper Pumpkin video. And um, just don't forget next week's BOGO week. So we hope to, and I have an in-person class next week as well. So if you're local in Phoenix and you want to come, I have a class next Thursday. So email me and let me know about that. Um, other than that, have a great weekend, you guys. Mwah. I love you lots. Take care. Bye-bye. Thanks for watching.